hello everyone in this video i will discuss in very simple way a uh, very important interview question and repeatable interview question uh, related to performance tuning and uh, if you attend any interview related to the sql you definitely will get one question related to the uh, performance tuning and uh, most of the time interviewer will ask the uh, difference between cluster index uh, versus non cluster index uh, but they want to try to understand in very deep manner not the theoretically concept so in this video we will cover in the detail uh, basically a uh, very simple way so you can understand uh, uh, what is exactly we have the uh, cluster index and uh, what uh, is the non cluster index and real time scenario when we use the uh, cluster index and uh, when we use the non cluster index so basically in the detail in this first part i will discuss uh, uh, what basically have the key difference for the practical point of view and the second repeatable question is uh, what scenario will use the non cluster index so basically if we already have the cluster index then why the non cluster index is required so these two question are very repeatable in the interview and uh, in the video comment also i i receive uh, a very repeatable question that uh, why we use the non cluster index uh, instead the cluster index if we already have so i will discuss detail so before starting if you are uh, new to my channel please uh, subscribe this channel and you can learn the lots of informatic video lots of uh, interview uh, preparation video related to the SQL data analyst uh, data engineering uh, data scientist uh, or the any profile where the SQL is using uh, you can also enroll on the courses uh, which have our platform uh, related to the SQL that is the complete uh, uh, live training program we have recorded video we have uh, interview question we have training material we have we have lots of training material if you have any question doubt uh, i will provide the uh, number on the video description uh, where you can all we can uh, touch with me you can also find the all the content uh, which i discussing in this video on the uh, video description so uh, let's start with first the uh, basic of the uh, what we have the uh, cluster index so what is the behavior of the cluster index in the real time so basically uh, cluster index and non cluster index uh, i think uh, if you are filled in the sql or database uh, you definitely know the uh, cluster index is created when we create the primary key uh, non cluster index is created when we create the unique key and uh, we can create only uh, one cluster index but the important thing is the uh, cluster index is basically uh, order the data physically in the table okay so what physically in the table uh, basically uh, suppose i am creating one table my table name is create table uh, table index this is the table name and the column is the id name and salary uh, we don't have any primary key okay so i am creating this table here so you can see uh, table got created and I'm inserting the data in this table uh, basically this is not the uh, order order way correct order way so my ID first I'm inserting one uh, let me execute this one uh, then I'm inserting five uh, then we, I'm inserting four so in the SQL we have uh, whatever the sequence you insert the data uh, if you have the fresh table in that sequence only uh, the data will be available okay so you can see uh, we have in that sequence I inserted one five four two three and if you put the select star from table name or uh, if you uh, put the where any condition like for example I'm putting that uh, employee ID is equal to employee ID is equal to uh, three okay so or two uh, so basically when we putting the two uh, if there is no index if there is no any type of the primary key what will be happen the SQL engine will be perform the entire table uh, scan 
so how you can find the where uh, it performing table scan so to execute this query you need to be enable the uh, actual execution plan or you can press the control m so once you execute this one you can see one new uh, window will be open that is the execution plan so you can see here is coming the table scan the uh, scanning the entire table but when we create the cluster index so cluster index property say that uh, if you create the cluster index the data will be sorted physically in the table okay so i am creating the syntax for creating cluster index is uh, create cluster index and you can give the index name uh, in the real time uh, when we work in the real time scenario we always give the ix underscore the table name underscore the column name so we can easily find out this is index is related to this table and this column and here table name so once you create the index okay so now you can see once you create the index uh, what will be happen i am selecting only the table so the data got sort automatically so now they will not perform the in a uh, table scan they perform the what will be happen when we when we use the employee ID equal to two they will not perform the table scan basically they seek the values index six so this is the basically basic thing uh, for the cluster index coming to the non cluster index so basically for the non cluster index when we create the unique key by default non cluster will be created but non cluster index data will be not sort uh, physically they will create the some id okay so when we insert the same uh, table data so this table is already there so let me uh, drop this table okay so i am dropping the table and i am creating again okay so now you can see uh, whatever the order you data inserted in that order is da data is available so if you put the select star from table name uh, select star from uh, table name so now you can see here whatever the order is uh, data inserted that order data is available so if you create the non cluster index okay so uh, let's see we creating the non cluster index in, in employee name okay so data will be not sorted okay so data will be not sorted so what will be happen for each and every employee name they create one uh, uh, data point id okay uh, they uh, in the memory they created the sql engine they created one data point id uh, so whenever we required to fetch the any of the employee information like employee name is equal to uh, uh, where if you put the where employee name is equal to whatever suppose the we pulling the reek information okay so basically they pick up the data from the reek data point id then they will give the output but in the uh, non cluster index they uh, scan the entire table okay so the question is uh, the second question is basically we have then what scenario we uh, we use the non cluster index if we already have the cluster index if we already have the primary key then why we use the non cluster index so basically when we have non cl cluster index in any of the table let's see employee id is there so we can create only one cluster index but in the table many places like i have one store procedure uh, let's see example i have one uh, store procedure uh, that proc is basically very complex uh, it uh, uh, thousand line of the code is there uh, proc having thousand line of the code and uh, this table uh, for example uh, employee non cluster index uh, we have uh, using uh, around 20 places where we filtering some uh, filter the data name okay like name is equal to this or uh, for example this table also have the some address table is there so multiple places we use the uh, uh, we use the uh, name condi uh, or sometimes where we can use the some type of the uh, filter of the any of the address id is there in this table okay so any other than primary key column is using in the adjoint uh, okay so when we using in the join other column or when we using in the where clauses uh, or any type of the filter of the data in that column only uh, we can use the we can create 
create the non cluster index okay i hope you understand that other than other than uh, cluster index if any column is using in join condition or where clauses then in that column we can create the non cluster index and that need to be your answer in the in front of the interviewer so this is the very basic concept you need to be used uh, for example i have this uh, uh, store procedure is there so this store procedure basically find the uh, customer detail so you can see uh, uh, from many places we use the customer id and uh, uh, some places we can use see the we use the order date okay uh, in the where clauses so basically if you multiple places we have the order date uh, you can create the non cluster in, in the order date column okay so this will be increase the performance of the table performance of the query so i hope you understand uh, what exactly we have uh, uh, the cluster index and non cluster index so other than theoretically concept uh, you need to be also remember that uh, this is the very important and we can use the in the execution plan uh, you can see each and everything if you have any question uh, if you have any doubt uh, you can put the uh, question in the video comment box i definitely i will answer all these questions so thank you so much for the watching uh, complete this video we'll meet in again next one thank you